In this video, I'm going to go over the sprintf function in C. So the sprintf function is pretty much identical to printf, except for instead of printing the string to the terminal, it's going to write the string to a character array. So let's go over an example, and we'll actually start off with printf. So here I'll say printf, hello, percent %d, percent %f. So this first argument to printf is called the format string. And this format string has two placeholders, percent %d for an integer, and percent %f for a double. And because these two placeholders are here, printf is going to expect two more arguments, an integer and a double. So here I'll say 2 and 10.5 to supply it with those arguments. And what printf does is it goes out and it constructs this string here, and then it prints it to the terminal. So I'll actually throw in one more printf with a new line, just to make our output look a little bit nicer here. So I'll save this and run it, and we should get hello and 2 and 10.5 here. So that's printf. Now with sprintf, the string that's constructed is going to be written to a character array. Let's start off by making a character array. Here I'll say car string 100. And what I've got is a character array that can store up to 100 characters. That's going to be more than large enough to store the string produced from this format string here. Now instead of printf, I'll say sprintf and string as the first argument. And it's going to do the exact same thing as printf in terms of constructing the string. It's just going to write it now to this character array here, supplied as the first argument. We could output that character array to see what's inside of it. We'll say printf percent %s and string. So we'll save this and run it, and we'll actually get the exact same output as last time. And that's because the character array string contains the exact same string that was produced from printf before. Now, because we've got that string stored in a character array, I could actually reuse it multiple times now. So here I could say printf percent %s string, and we'll print out another new line here. And if I save this and run it, I can print the string out multiple times. So now I've stored the string. So I can use sprintf when I want to use a string that I've produced multiple times. We can actually look at this string one character at a time too, just to see how it was written into this character right here. Let's do that just for fun. Here I'm going to include string.h because the string.h library includes a function called strlen that allows me to find the length of a string. And I'll actually use that to help me make a loop to print out the string one character at a time. So here I'll say int length is equal to strlen string. So I'll call that string length function to get the length of the string. In other words, how many characters are in the string. And then I'll just print them out one character at a time. So here I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus, and we'll print f string percent d is equal to percent c slash n, and we'll output the index i and the character in the string character array at index i. So we're basically going through the character array string one character at a time from zero up until the length of the string, and we're going to print out each individual character. So let's save this and run it. And we'll be able to see all the individual characters in this string that we printed out. So here you can see hello in the first five characters of the string, space, two, space, and then 10.50000. So one of the other things that's kind of cool about sprintf is we can actually use it to do a bit of a type conversion. Because we basically had a number converted to a string. So for example, I could say here, car, pi, and I'll say maybe 10 here. And here I'll say double, double pi is equal to, and I'll put pi here. And I can actually convert this double representation of pi to a string representation using sprintf. So here I'll say sprintf pi percent f, and then double pi. And then we'll print out the contents of the string pi. So I'll say printf percent %s slash n, and we'll output pi here. So if I save this and run it, we're going to find that we successfully converted that double representation of pi to a string. So we can also use s printf to convert from doubles and ints and floats to strings as well. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.